Hello everyone, this is Sharif Madawan and I'm very excited to share with you the webinar for tonight. And uh, this is going to be for the actual training event we have coming up in the beautiful city of New York. So this is all about the million dollar recipes to real estate wealth. You know, I wrote a book uh, earlier this year in 2015, Million Dollar Recipes to Real Estate Wealth. And thank God we had um, actually a radio show on this uh, nationwide for a few months, and it really uh, was a good success for us. And now we are actually uh, been doing some live events. We've done one in Los Angeles, great success, one in San Francisco, and now the next one here is in New York. And each event we improve a little bit more. A little disclaimer here, I am a real estate hedge fund manager. Uh, Mixif is the website for the hedge fund for anybody that want to look at the properties we do. And we've been uh, going for six years doing high-end residential. I mean, just some of these homes sell for $10, $11 million. And, of course, as you all know, since 99, we've been educating people on how to grow their wealth, how to create wealth, how to get into syndications, how to protect their assets, and just phenomenal programs we have. I always look for the cutting-edge stuff. You can look at it at cmrei.com, Sharif Metawar Real Estate Investing. I'm neither an attorney nor a CPA, although I pay a lot of money for a team of attorneys. I have people that work for me, full-time attorneys. I have CPAs that work very closely with me, and we actually even have some legal structures to reduce taxes with the government of Puerto Rico, which is U.S. territory. So we have some cutting-edge stuff that I am very excited to share with you. So, again, for those that don't know me, I also authored some books, and uh, you can go to CMREI. You will see more about that and mix it for what we do. And let's just get busy. Let's talk right away about what is the most important skill to master in 2016 and beyond. I know you're going to think, well, maybe strategies of real estate, maybe creative financing, maybe negotiating. A lot of great strategies, a lot of skills to master. But the most important one is the skill to raise money. If you have the ability to sit down one-on-one -on -one with someone and persuade them and show them and present to them succinctly, what's in it for them to actually work with you, you will make money. If you're able to do public presentations and selling presentations and raise capital to put in residential and commercial real estate, you will make millions. You know, the, the entire idea here is to know that when you have money, even the banks will jump and show you the inventory of non-performing assets they want to give you. The, the banks will jump and want to give you credits, want to give you loans. Hard money lenders will work partnerships instead of loans. A lot of people will tell you, if you find a great deal, the money will come. Yes, I'm in agreement. But I'll tell you what, if you have the money, great deals will come up and people will be more flexible because proof of funds is huge. Now, as you probably know, I have a system when I teach. We do this in the live events. It's called the DCBA. D is for the word definition. I always want to define all the words. I want to make sure everybody understands the terminology we're using so you don't get lost. I want to explain the concept. What is this all about? Why you know these things exist? What's, what's the end goal, etc.? Then I like to go through the business model, which is the recipe, which is the one, two, three, to achieve a certain goal at the end, a predictable outcome. And then the A is for the application for success, the action that somebody has to go take out there to produce the results that we're talking about. So without further ado, let me get into some definitions. Now, first of all, when we're talking about raising money, raising capital, you can actually go build your own personal credit. That's one thing, having credit cards, credit lines, good credit, that's wonderful. But there's also something a lot of people neglect to do, which is business credit. Business credit is, for instance, when you set up an S Corp or a C Corporation or an LLC with its own tax ID number and go apply for credit cards. You can start with simple, like a Shell credit card, a gas station, like a Sears credit card, and then build into a Visa credit card into an American Express for your business and build a credit line for your business outside your actual social security to be under the tax ID of a corporation. We've talked extensive, extensively about that in previous events. We even have, I have an entire training on it, an hour and a half in details how to do it, build credit, use even PayPal to help you extract more credit from your credit cards and really, really get access to cash, especially if you're doing flips or if you're actually buying and holding and you need to do some rehabs and refi later on comes in very helpful, comes in very handy. 
Creative financing is another way to get capital, which is when you work with the seller, when you work with somebody out there trying to dispose of the property and you work with them maybe based on an option, maybe work them seller carry back, maybe certain terms like a wraparound mortgage. I will be doing a live event in New York and I'll cover some great creative financing techniques that have worked magically for me on properties that were $15,000 a property when I was buying bulk homes to properties that are 12 and $15 million. Same strategies, just a couple extra zeros next to the the end result. Number three is partnerships and versus joint ventures. Partnerships is when you get somebody to partner with you into a transaction. You can get contractors to do it, you can get investors to do it, you can get hard money lenders to do it. Joint ventures is when you're not partnering with individuals but an entity partners with another entity. But the end goal is the same. Is somebody maybe puts money, somebody puts the effort. Maybe two put both of them or three of them put the money and they do some of the work. But partnerships and joint ventures can take your game to totally another level. Number four, which is the most powerful way, is not just to think in terms of strategies, but to think in terms of the structure. Structuring a syndication, becoming a sponsor, is extremely powerful. And sponsor meaning meaning you are the fund manager. You create a syndication, meaning group investing structure. The SEC created structures that are allowed by law. You don't have to be a licensed broker. You don't have to be any licensed anything. All you have to do is do a business plan, have an attorney submit a private placement offering, private placement memorandum. You file it with the Security and Exchange Commission under Regulation 506B or 506C and raise capital. This way the SEC is monitoring what you do, how much you're going to raise, and there are certain rules you have to follow. I'll go through all that in a live training. Suffice it to say right now that a syndication is group investing, is when you as an individual create a structure to be able to go and present to people, I would like you to participate in this million dollar opportunity, and you can put as little as let's say 10,000 or 25,000 or 50,000 and you can raise money from 20 people at 50,000 each and have the million dollars or maybe of five people and each put 50,000 so you have 250 and, and then get a loan. The difference between 506B and 506C is some of the conditions. 506B has to be what's called a private fund where you cannot advertise. You only can go to people that you privately know, you have established relationship with. 506C is the new regulation that was actually, thanks to Obama for the Jobs Act in 2012, the SEC made some modifications and now allows us to publicly advertise some funds, but we take accredited investors only. So let's talk about that. Number five, accredited investors are those who have a net worth of $1 million, excluding their home, or they have an income of 200000 a year if they're single, or 300000 if they're a couple filing tax jointly, and that income had to have been for the last two years, and they're expecting to make the same income this year. So you're either a millionaire having a net worth of a million excluding, ex excluding your home, or, I didn't say and, I said or, you have high income as I mentioned. Non-accredited investors are those that don't fall into this accredited investor category. So 506C, you can have unlimited number of accredited investors and you can raise unlimited amount of money. I have a 506C fund that's a $100 million fund called the SFI fund. It's a great fund and we're just starting it and it's just growing and I'll talk more about it in New York where people can participate at many levels. It's a phenomenal thing. 506B, I have a 506B which is the mixed fund that is for accredited investors. We can also take some non-accredited investors and it just has its benefits as well. And I'll talk about it, how we have grown for six years and how you can benefit from my experience and duplicate what I do or maybe join me and go to a completely different level instead of working in the real estate, working on the real estate business you have and grow tremendously. So number six, what's the definition of a business plan? It's really what's your plan? What is it that you're going to do with the money that you need to actually spell out for an attorney or for an investor. The reason you would spell it out for an attorney is that attorney would be trained for SEC regulations and they will use your business plan 
to draft what's called the private placement memorandum that gets filed with the SEC. It's also called the private placement offering. And you can do a debt fund. That means you raise money like it's a debt, so you owe the money back to the investors. Or you can do an equity fund. That means when they actually give you the money, they participate in the equity. They don't make a specific return like a debt fund of, let's say, 6 or 8%. They have equity participation. They may make 5%. They may make 8 They may make 10 They may lose money. It's not a debt fund like a loan. They're just participating in equity. It's like in the stock market, you talk about bonds, where it's a fixed return and stock where you can make money, lose money. I much prefer to raise money as a debt fund. And I much prefer if I'm giving money to somebody, to give it to them as a debt fund. So I have a claim against the asset, I have a fixed return, I have more peace of mind, etc. So when you draft a business plan, which we'll talk about extensively in the live event, I always go through the formula of how to draft a business plan. I'll show you how to do it within an hour. I've done a business plan for a bank in a one hour. There is a formula to it like everything else I do and there's a method to the madness and then when you submit that business plan to the attorney, the SEC trained attorney, they will put it in a format in a legalese to be a private placement memorandum. So that's what's going to help you to raise capital because once you file it with the SEC, you're up and running as a fund manager which is the ultimate thing to have and to be in the world of real estate to raise capital and to actually deploy the capital wisely and, and, and grow into the world of real estate where everybody grows with you and everybody does it with less risk. So raising capital will be allowed for you under the exemption rules of the SEC 506B or 506C. So you can raise money from accredited and some non-accredited. It depends on the choice of the fund that you're going to actually follow. You will draft a business plan based on the directions I'll give you. I'll show you how to work with an attorney and have the PPM done. And now you'll be able to go and raise unlimited capital. If you're listening to me here and you're an investor, this will take your game to a completely different level. If you're a broker, a real estate agent, this is the end result. This is where you want to be. So when you bring the deal, you don't bring it to just one big investor. You can bring it to a lot of investors and participate in the deal and involve even the seller on many levels and just take the game to another level. Okay, number nine, co-syndication. Co-syndication is a new term. It's when somebody want to be a syndicator, but they have no experience. So when they go to the lawyer, the lawyer is afraid to do that paperwork, says, look, I don't want to be involved. You don't have experience. You've never done it before. When you go on a go raise money, you want to go on a platform like crowdfund, the platforms that exist now and for the past few years, they say, we're not going to list your offering because you don't have experience. You're an amateur. Yeah, you may have been an expert investor, but you've never been a fund manager. So co-syndication is when you go and syndicate with somebody who's up and running, who can give you, if you will, some guidance and kind of you exchange value. Maybe you raise money, they deploy the capital or versa, and you co-syndicate. That is also what's called a fund of funds. The FOF is fund of funds. It's, let's say you go raise the money, and that takes all of your time, so you don't have time to go identify good properties and manage the reconstruction or repositioning of the property and then doing it. So what you do is you raise the capital and use another fund like my fund, Mixif, for instance, and you deploy the money that you raised into my fund. And let's say I pay you 6 or 8%, and you pay your investors you know, a couple points less than that. And so you make what's called a spread. I also have programs where I have just started something new now called co-syndication or co-sponsoring, which I'll talk about in more details where it gives opportunity to some investors who want to launch themselves into the big game and they can piggyback with me right into, if you will, an apprenticeship of some sort where they can see what I do, they get involved with me, they get the instant credibility and it just takes them to another level completely. Uh, so I want to talk about difference between mentorship, coaching, and apprenticeship. Mentorship is really somebody going out there to mentor you into something that you want to do. Okay, you want to do this thing, they got to mentor you through it, they have the experience, they've been there, done that, and they're successful. Coaching is usually done over the phone. You do something, you report it, they coach you through it, go make another offer, submit it to me, let's talk about it. It's usually done by phone. Coaching is done by phone. Mentorship is somebody goes in person and mentors you for a few days. Apprenticeship is really, in my opinion, the best way to do it. 
An apprenticeship is you're out there, you go and you, you practice and you get the correction needed until you actually finish your education, finish the actual practice and feedback to correct and you get to a level of mastery where you can eventually branch on your own and then become your own sponsor. Your own, you have your own fund and you can grow with unlimited capital raised right into big projects like hotels or, or uh, residential care facilities, take it right into big commercial assisted living facilities, etc. So to summarize all this, I want you to think of not only your level of credit and how much money you can raise personally and in your business credit, which most people don't even have that business credit or enough credit, they don't think that way, but I want you to also think of your ability to do creative financing, which we'll talk about extensively, your opportunity to build relationship and partner with people, create entities that can join venture with other people, and take the game to a completely different level by creating your own syndication, maybe start by co-sponsoring with somebody, and then launching yourself into the big game with the lowest possible risk but instant huge credibility to build prior performance with the SEC and then get that apprenticeship you want so you can eventually, within a year to three years, become a syndicator, a sponsor, and then take your game to a completely different level. So what's the concept here? You need money to make deals happen. It's just You can't argue with me on this. If you don't know how to get the money to make the deals happen, you won't make any deals. You're just going to maybe, maybe at best, find a good deal, hand it to somebody and get an assignment fee and stay in the margin of life, in the margin of potential profit. Now, there are many ways to raise unlimited money. You've got to know that. There are many ways, not just one way. The best way to create a structure is to create a structure that allows you to raise money consistently so you can jump on great deals. There is nothing like having the money ready so when you get the right deal, you're able to go and get it cash. You cannot steal a deal in slow motion. Now, you need to learn how to expand your business credit. Even if you're bankrupt, you can create business credit. The most successful people are those who know how to work with others through proper structures that are safe, legal, and profitable. I choose my wording very carefully here. Listen to this again. The structure must be safe. You must have a safety factor. You must provide the investor with a safety factor. It must be legal and ethical. It means you're going to follow the SEC rules. You're going to do everything right so you can sleep at night. Your investors will be comfortable. It has the right structure. They're able to review it. They're able to see that it's fine with the SEC. They're able to see that it's solid. It's the right team, etc. And if it's not profitable, then why are you doing it? You can just pass on all the profit to the investors. It's going to be profitable for you as well. And when they will see your profit, they'll be more comfortable in that structure. And think always for the greater good so everybody could grow with you. So I want you to know that setting up your own fund, setting a syndication may seem overwhelming at this stage of the game. It's too early. It's just a webinar. We're going to get into a live training soon. But the thing is, you can do this. It doesn't matter what your financial situation is. You don't have to come and tell me I owe a lot of money on the credit card. Oh, I don't have a license in real estate. I'm not a broker. Or you know what? I've been through a bankruptcy a couple of years before. It doesn't matter. The SEC says, I'll give you an exemption rule. You have to follow certain things. You have to submit certain documents. You have to show us certain things. And if you team up with somebody, you can be in the big time. So let's talk about the business model now to raise money. You know that you can go to a bank and get a loan from a bank. You can, again, a local bank get a property, go to a local bank, how much will you loan me against this property? If the property produces income, it will have some value and some, uh, you know, the bank will be willing to say, I'll loan you X. It's called the loan to value. LTV is loan to value. Based on the income the property produces, I'm willing to loan you maybe 60% or 70%. What if you want to go a bit more aggressive? Maybe you're going to flip that uh, residential property or you're going to reposition that commercial property. You can go to a hard money lender. They're called also equity lenders. They're willing to take a bit more risk. They're going to charge you a little bit more money and some points. And if you don't pay them on time, they're going to just repossess the property from you. I'll show you ways to work with hard money lenders. Suffice it to know right now, that is one other way to go and raise capital. Number three, you can use your own credit cards. I mean, I don't, I don't propose that for anybody or suggest that for anyone who doesn't know what they're doing. But if you have a slam dunk deal and you've built enough credit on your credit cards and you can go extract 
fifty or a hundred thousand that's gonna help you make the deal happen, by all means, if you know what you're doing, you can access personal credit. Build business credit and use it. We talked about that. Do creative financing with the seller. Say, look, I'll give you the hundred, carry the two hundred thousand, go get business credit to actually get the money to rehab. Partner up with maybe a contractor. Yes, it's a lot of pieces that you're putting together, but that's how you can make and what that's why we call it create wealth because it's done from your thoughts. It manifests itself based on the business model of one, two, three, I know what the end result should be, and this is the market, and this is what the market would bear, and this is what I'm getting it at, and you put the numbers and the activities together and you get results. Now, set up joint ventures. You can create this, and then once it works, you can do it over and over, and then you realize that you're ready for the big game. Or you can skip all these hassles, these hassles, and create a syndication and have individuals invest with you in your own fund and your own offering by actually legit legitimizing everything and following the proper steps that are approved by law. Or join me or any other hedge fund manager to turbo your results and get it done fast. Now, so the business model, we talked about definition, we talked about concept, we talked about the business model. I'm gonna to talk today a little bit more about setting up joint ventures, syndications, and becoming a hedge fund manager, seven, eight, and nine. So joint ventures bring in development companies and other investment firms to create a partnership and bring deals to them. You can go to the development companies, people that actually do development, that means they take properties, rehab them, expand them, reposition them, maybe build something from scratch. There are investment firms out there looking for deals, and you bring the deal to them and say, look, I don't want an assignment fee, I want to partner up. And how do you add value to them? Maybe, you know, instead of just assigning, stay involved in the deal. Tell them I'll manage the day-to-day -day rehab. I will pay for the material, or I'll pay part of the deal. Or I'll bring in more investors and I'll add capital. This is how you take your game to another level. I've seen, for example, architects working in firms and making a salary and a little bonus and they think they're very successful. I've seen architects partnering in the deal. One becomes a millionaire because they partner up and the other one has a 401k program. Hooray, great. W2. You know, I'm not saying having a job or having bonuses is bad. I'm just saying... Learn how to create these joint ventures. You can take your game to another level. Well, again, better yet, create your own syndication. You can create the structure to raise money for specific deals on an ongoing basis and as needed. You learn how to write a business plan. Get the SEC attorney to write the PPM. It's going to cost you between twenty to 35000 It depends how much back and forth you're going to go with the attorney, how much training you have. If you have clear thoughts, clear training, which I'm going to give you as much training so you can launch on your own in that world so you can give directions to the attorney. Because I promise you, if you go pay an attorney $30,000 and tell them, write for me a private placement memorandum, a PPM, so I can go raise money to buy apartment buildings, for instance, that's your fantasy. Okay, he's going to sit or she's going to sit with pen in hand and they're going to say, what do you want me to put in the PPM? And if you don't know how to direct them, they're going to say, look, I can't help you. I'm not going to give you a training at $400 an hour. You just paid me 30. Here's the 30 back. Good luck to you. Minus, of course, the $800 for two hours sitting with you, talking to you. You know, so I'm going to show you how to write the business plan, how to talk to an attorney, you can identify and track the right clients right into your, your private placement memorandum. People you know, people you don't know. Now we have the Reg D 506C, which allows us, under the new SEC rules that change the game completely, you can advertise publicly. We couldn't do that before. And I raised millions and millions. Can you imagine how much easier it is for me now? I'm going to show you how it works. You're going to learn how to pitch and raise capital regularly. This is very important for you to know. How you raise capital is going to be the big difference between being a small player or a big player. And believe it or not, in the world of real estate, the bigger you are, the safer it becomes. Why? Because owning, for instance, an apartment building with 100 units is a lot safer than owning a fourplex. A lot safer. Why? You lose a couple tenants, it's 2% vacancy. You lose two tenants in a fourplex, you just lost 50% of your income. So 
learn how to scale it only after you automate it. And you can only automate it if you have a system. And you only can get a system if you have a structure. And the structure only comes after a strategy. Strategy, structure, system, automation, then you scale it. And then if you want to sell it, then you can grow even bigger. So I'm going to show you how to follow the rules and grow very big. I have grown in every business model, and we have eight business models. We have the training company, CMREI. We have an actual um, entire portfolio of commercial and mixed-use properties in Puerto Rico in the historic district. We have the private fund, the MIXIF, that has been raising millions, deploying capital since since 2009 when people were coming out of the market 2008 9 and 10 we were coming in making millions and students were joining and growing we have the SFI, SFI fund which is a hundred million fund that can show you how to co-syndicate and get projects started raise capital understand how the accounting is done understand how the, the, the you manage the fund it's it I will I will show you how we do it and how we grow it we have the reg a plus which is the latest I'll share that with you in more details in the live event I don't have time here on the webinar we have a crowdfund express website platform that's going to be launched next year with the largest potential to raise capital worldwide phenomenal syndication is beginning to go and the game to grow Partner up with an existing and successful syndicator. This is what we're doing now. Get the guidance to draft the business plan. Get the guidance to deal with attorneys and finalize your PPM. And use other fund of funds to grow even bigger and faster. Get the instant credibility from existing fund as it's managed. You co-partner with me in a fund when I'm up and running. You have instant credibility. Your name is filed with the SEC. You're able to go to anybody you know and say, I'm a co-sponsor with a multi-millionaire who has been a hedge fund manager for over half a dozen years raising millions. And you, you will have your own access to the deals and how to talk to people, etc. This is how you raise capital and deploy it for profit. And you can identify your own deals and do it on your own in the future just after 12 months of doing something like this. Now, what's the business model to raise capital? Again, get a loan from a bank, get a loan from a hard money lender, use personal credit cards, build business credit and use it, do creative financing with sellers, create partnership with a contractor or contractors, set up joint ventures, create your own syndication and have people invest in your own offering or join a hedge fund manager and get it done in a short period of time right into the big time. So what action do you need to do to succeed? Learn the business of syndication to invest in real estate. Learn how to put a structure in place that is legal, safe, and profitable to scale your business. Understand the SEC rules. There may be many, but I'm going to give you the 20% of the 20%. What is it that you need to follow and how to apply and scale your real estate business to grow into the big time residential and commercial? And I know some of you listening to this, you're new. Maybe you're a professional dentist, chiropractor, maybe you're an engineer, maybe you're something in a completely different field and you've dabbled with some real estate, maybe you've done, you own your own home, you've done a small deal here and there, you've taken some seminars and you're just anxious to go to the next level and you've been taking mentorship or coaching with others and just nobody want to take you by the hand. I'm going to show you there is a way to do it and if you're going to be actually launching yourself to the right structure, it's got to be the syndication, whether with me or somebody else. I mean, heck, if you can do it on your own, more power to you. Let's partner up on a completely different level if that's where you are. But you've got to know how to raise capital and make more in one year than you've made in your entire life. It sounds shocking for some people, but if you've never been applying knowledge and communicating to people and being creative at that level, you can even understand how big deals are put together through small participation by many, many people. Now, I want you to learn and earn with me, and my event in New York is going to be January 22nd, 23rd, 24th. It's going to be in Manhattan. We, we have lined up a hotel, and we, we, you know, we have people coming from all over the country, but of course, New York is a great location. We have such a huge database of students in the Northeast. It's really good to come back. I have not been that busy uh, doing live events. I've been busy doing the deals. We've been scaling like crazy through 2015. We intend to continue scaling in 2016 the business models. 
and uh, and uh, and in the event, I'm going to show you how to set up the joint ventures with others, how to structure your own syndication from A to Z. I'm going to share with you the latest and the best SEC rules. You will see we have attorneys that come in and attend, CPAs. Everybody want to know how it works. Remember, I'm not an attorney. I'm not going to go scare you so you can come to my services so I can draft a PPM for you. I am an investor. I'm going to show you how it's done, how attorneys work for me and get it done the right way. I have the best attorneys working with me. I have scaled this. I have pushed the rules. I've challenged the SEC, got them to approve certain things so we can grow and show them that we follow the rules. We just needed certain approvals. And I'll share these with you. You will see structures you will not see anywhere else at all throughout the U.S. And we're able to get money. I'll show you how to get to raise capital from foreigners. We have students that raise money from family members from China. We have a guy that's raising money from a family member from Russia from Europe, from Latin America, there are ways to do it. That is what's called Regulation F from the SEC for foreigners. I will show you how to advertise your fund at the least expensive way possible, how to partner up with me, how to use my existing fund to grow on the new fund we have, make you an expert in syndication. Why? I have six years experience, raised millions of dollars. Right now, if you go to Mixif.com and look at the portfolio we have, we have properties listed at $12 million a home in San Francisco, Presidio Heights, 101 Maple Street, San Francisco. Another property listed for $11 million on the Clay Street in, in Pacific Heights. I mean, the best trophy properties. Look at more, my portfolio at CREPR.com of commercial property, over $50 million in my personal portfolio of commercial mixed-use historic properties, small hotel that just got approved for international um, um, vacation exchange uh, as a timeshare with the Vacation Interval International. The future of real estate is to become a fund manager. Hedge fund manager is the way to go and the way to grow. So. Those that want to do this, this is going to be like a roundtable experience. What do I mean by this? We sit down in roundtables, and you, you actually end up brainstorming and having the sessions very interactive with me. What do I mean by that? In the event, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cover three things. On day one, I'm going to cover the residential, latest strategies and techniques, to make millions with residential, how to work with the banks, what's happening today with other investors, what's happening in the market, and, and where the trend is. You know, Number two, on day two, I'll go through the full syndication training. This used to be a three-day training. The syndication, I got it to the 20% of the 20% of what people need and how they can launch to the big time, including the opportunity to work with me. On day three, I'm going to give you the best of the best of how to get into the discount mortgage notes. Big business, a lot of rules have changed. I'm going to give you all the latest changes in the rules, slide by slide. I promise you, I will take this very complicated matter that had so many mess-ups with the banks worldwide, and I'll show you how to do it the right way when you want to sell how to carry notes, when you buy, want to buy notes, how to calculate the discount notes. I'll show you how to use a discount calculator in 10 minutes, and it will be better than the best financial analysts. I'll show you how time, time money uh, the value of time over uh, money, value of money over time also how it works and how you can make millions using an actual cash flow note that is secured by real estate. Again, those that know me know that I have a, a, a patent system called the FACTS system. The acronym FACTS work for how to find the deals and the best opportunities in any market. How to A, it's for how to analyze the numbers and the trends. This is very important. I'll show you how to analyze the trends. We will brainstorm on this. Day one, you will see the website. You will extract websites to find you the best deals. You will see, if you're a syndicator, how to actually capitalize on these opportunities. I will go through the controlling part of the deal, how to negotiate creatively, how to write the contracts, and be able to control that deal, and how to time the process of the due diligence, the actual financing, and the acquisition and closing, including here we're going to talk a bit on day one about syndication and very heavily on day two. And then number five, the S for strategizing. How to maximize the profit by using the system, the automation, and the scalability that's available for you from managing the properties to repositioning them to actually either selling them or refinancing them and holding them for the long term. So the fact system is what we'll cover. Now, the keys to success in real estate are really very basic. 
finding new deals that are usually priced below um, uh, market value, which is we call it wholesaling, and then acting on such a good deal by using the right business model. If you know what business model to apply, you're going to make safe, consistent returns. You can use your own money or you can use other people's money. And guess what's better? You can only use so much of your own money and then you're going to run out. I don't care if you have 100 million. If you have 100 million, you create a fund and go raise a billion dollars. We're talking completely different level of transaction. But let's not think that big. Let's just think, think small, start small, and then you grow step by step. And you think about it. On day one, I'm going to follow with you the definition, concept, business model, and the action for success. I'll show you the proven results that I and many of my students have used through the past 15 years. I've been teaching since 99, guys. A week of my life, I always say, is like somebody else's full year. Now, we're going to have full interaction. I want you to bring your laptop. In the hotel we have, we're paying a lot more money so they can give us the Wi-Fi, high-speed internet for everybody to be able to research. You're going to be brainstorming, sitting together per table. Each table will present. They'll have a presenter. I will debate you. You will see how we do full interaction. I focus on execution. I don't want theory. I don't want fantasy. I want to talk about the safe, ethical, and profitable methods to make money in today's market. Not stuff about no money down from the 80s. We're going to talk residential. We're going to talk syndication, residential and commercial, and discount notes on residential and commercial. So what do I cover? On day one, residential, how to find the deals, how to find the partners, how to find the contractors, how to work with buyers, how to work with renters, how to analyze the numbers. Then we're going to have lunch, and then we're going to talk about controlling the negotiation and creating win-win creative financing offers. Extremely powerful. Imagine you master this, and then you understand day two, which is all about syndications from the basics of the definition and concept regarding the most up-to-date strategies. And the laws have changed in 2012 with the Reg D506, and then in June 19, 2015, they changed again and gave us what's called the Reg A+, which I'm going to give you the latest and best strategies to raise unlimited capital through a business model of how to have your business plan and the, the actual private placement memorandum drafted. So you can go take action for success, learn how to pitch your offer, and raise that money. And I'll tell you, once you raise the money, we have so many ways to work. You can learn how to pitch in creative ways and succeed in real estate syndication. If you only have one skill, which is knowing how to raise capital, and drafting the right offers, you will have so many fund managers wanting to work with you. You can make so much money safely, it's not even funny. It just takes the game, as I keep saying, to a level that you will see. It's like going up the stairs. Step one, you learn about three the state. Step two, you understand the terminology. Step three, you understand the concept. Step, step four, you get into the business model of the one, two, three that you have to do. Step you know, five is just now taking action, not step six. You now not only raise money, but deploy it in your own deals. And it's unlimited profits with huge potential. Now, this got mortgage notes, and um, it's going to be on day three. I'm going to cover with you the business model, how to, to calculate the financial um, discounts, the time uh, value of money, and how to actually do the asset protection. I will also. I have also invited the um, Puerto Rico government uh, officials to come in and present. I have a government decree uh, with uh, the U.S. territory of Puerto Rico, and um, I will present to you anybody that is paying 20 to 50 percent tax. I'm talking federal, state, Obamacare, and all this good stuff. I will show you how to drop it to 15 percent flat tax. I repeat, if you're listening to me carefully, I'm going to show you how to drop your tax, no matter the income, to a 15% flat tax through a structure that I have, which is a deal with a tax grant approved by the, the Congress in the United States through Puerto Rico. For 20 years tax grant, I will drop your taxes to 15%. I'll show you exactly how to do it, the business model. I have uh, somebody from the government of Puerto Rico is going to be in New York, and I invited them to come in and present. 
and this, I think it's going to be a great opportunity for you to see something you would never see anywhere else, a very little known uh, secret in the tax world under the IRS rules. And the asset protection, I mean, you know we've had asset protection programs. It is the best in the By far, it's one of the most powerful, and it shows you not just how to protect your assets, but how to, to whoever is trying to sue you will actually get hurt because they will end up with a tax bill. I'll show you how this works. Extremely, extremely powerful. So who should participate in this structure? Well, a bunch of people should participate. If you're a real estate investor, I want you to understand, this is exactly what you're looking for. The latest strategies in residential, the best syndication for residential and commercial with the latest rules, and the best way to start in the syndication world. I will launch you into the big game. And what's happening with the discount note, mortgage notes, and all that world of asset protection and tax reduction. Real estate agents and brokers, this is the latest and the best. So you can speak intelligently about trends. You can speak to customers in a different way. You can group customers together into a different game totally. Business owners, anybody making a lot of money and want to actually preserve their wealth, reduce their tax, protect their assets, this is the game. Landlords, rehabbers, mortgage brokers, loan originators, underwriters, appraisers, escrow companies, title company professionals, bankers, certified uh, financial planners, certified public accountants, and other financial professionals. If you're a wealth advisor, last time we had a wealth advisor from Merrill Lynch, the guy was blown away just by the tax strategy. He came back, want to work with us. They're, they're meeting us in Puerto Rico on December 10th, 2015. I mean, this is just unbelievable. Those seeking to grow by syndicating their business model will find this to be the most helpful structure. Now, people always ask me, okay, Sharif, we haven't seen you for a year and a half. Uh, you haven't been out there doing a lot of live events. Uh, what's going on? How many have you done? In 2015, I've done only two live events. Both of them were in California. We did Los Angeles, and we did the Bay Area and San Francisco, Bay Area, Santa Clara, uh, Silicon Valley. It was a lot of fun. I'm glad I went out there, but I don't need to go out there that often because I'm busy. Here, um, here is the 101 Maple property. This one is for sale at $12 million in San Francisco. This is what my fund has, the Mixer Fund. Here are some of the investors we have. All these investors were students in the seminar company, and some of them wanted to invest on their own. Some of them wanted to come in and join me. And you can join me in many ways. You can join by learning and going and doing your own thing. God bless you. I'm happy. Just give me a success story, at least. By the way, we have over 1,000 video success stories on YouTube. Have you seen these? Go on YouTube, put Sharif Medawar, and... And watch and listen and see what's being said out there about what we have done. How many people made money with my system? Some other students say, you know what, I'm a professional guy or lady, I'm busy, and I'd rather just give you the money to invest it for me, give me the 6 8%, let me compound it, and over 10, 15 years, it's going to compound, it's going to be like 14% annual rate of return because the compounding effect, you know how it works. If you don't, come to the live training, I'll show you. And some people say, listen, I would like to co-sponsor with you. I'd like to co-syndicate in that new fund you have, $100 million. I would like to learn how you do it. Grow it. I would like to go and raise the capital, since it's the most important skill. Show me how to raise capital, Sharif. And when I raise capital, I want to get paid not once, but a residual income for it. So I can have residual income, piggyback on your knowledge, your structure, your people, what you have done for years, and let's grow together. And let's get into the big game. Here, Maple, $12 million, Clay Street, $11 million, the crew, the team. Everybody that has participated has gone to the next level once they applied and joined. And now we have it literally turnkey for the asset protection, turnkey for the actual tax structure, and turnkey for the syndication. It doesn't get any, any simpler and any more powerful. So it's a three-day live event. $997 is your investment in yourself. That's one ticket into the event. I'll give you a copy of my brand new book, Million Dollar Recipes to Real Estate Wealth. This has been a real success for us. You'll have a training workbook only available to attendees. Please don't call my office out for the training workbook and the setup. It doesn't get you anywhere with just having bullet points. One-on-one -on -one consultation regarding your pending or future transactions. Like to always know what you have. We even do case studies right there live in front of everybody on day two to see if it's indicatable or not. 
and we do full interaction. So I want you, when you're coming, bring your laptop. Don't bring me a little iPad, even though it's helpful, but bring a laptop, okay? Uh, and uh, we'll do the research and analysis together. I want you to learn. I want to launch you uh, into the world of research and know how to do it. We have a VIP upgrade in the New York event, $197. You'll have VIP seating. And, uh, you know, we'll have a cocktail at the end of day one, so you'll have the, the, the ticket for the cocktail and the... Uh, and get to network. I want you all to know each other. We, we like people to know each other. Uh, I have always attracted high net worth people, people that are accomplished, maybe because we do more commercial real estate than other companies, maybe because I'm a hedge fund manager, maybe because we deploy millions. I don't know, but I'm really happy to tell you that we've always attracted very high net worth people. And I like people to network. I like them to get to know each other. We welcome that opportunity. We welcome people to come in and say, I came in last time, I met this person, now we're doing these together based on your system, we're getting results. Look again at the, at the success stories we've had on YouTube. I'll give you immediate access to the Million Dollar Recipes to Real Estate Wealth book online um, and online members website. So those that enroll today, you will get the access right away. And also in the cocktail party, I'll have a book signing event, we take photos and it's really a lot of fun and it's just a very high energy event. So. Bring your laptop, do the research with us. You're going to do individual presentations based on each research you do. You're going to do case studies with me, and we're going to do some role playing on how to raise capital, etc. When you leave on day three, you're going to be energized, you're going to be motivated, you're going to have a true system out there to go and apply and completely empowered with the proper tools. So, the live event for 2016 in New York, $997. VIP upgrade $197. The ticket price is $1,194. Of course, under uh, Rule 162, Internal Revenue Code 162, this is a business expense. Check with your CPA. You can claim that as a business expense. You'll get the book. You'll get all the good stuff. And I have great news for you. Those that want to enroll today, I'm talking about listening to, this, to me now. You hang up and you call 407 608 Five four four eight, and if the line is busy, you call again, and you talk to Zach, or talk to Ashley, and you say, "I would like the eighty-five percent discount. I just listened to Sharif. Your ticket price will be one hundred forty-nine dollars and fifty-five cents." Yep, I'm giving you eighty-five percent discount. Look, I don't make money from the event. I've never made money from events. I don't care about making money from events. I like to make money from going out there making deals with the students. I'll show you how we can do it. How we partner up. You can co-syndicate, you can actually become an affiliate in some of the programs, and you can do that and grow like crazy. I, I don't sell books and tapes. I have no interest in stuff like that. I do the deals. You, you, you have to understand and discern and weed out those that give you a pitch to sell you more stuff versus those that are actually doing the deals. Don't forget why you're listening to me here because you want to become a millionaire or you want to make a million a year. And that is very possible because I'm growing and I need people to come along. As a matter of fact, you have the opportunity to invite a guest with you. Or you want to bring your spouse? Great. Just make sure they're not lazy, afraid, or, or, or fearful of everything in life, and they're not going to do anything and stop you. If instead you want to bring your CPA, great. You want to bring some high net worth investor, a partner, a friend? Bring them. Let me repeat. $149.55. You get the free upgrade and bring a guest. Heck, the book and the, 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 the time we spend together is worth more than that. You know, people want to talk to me and say, I'll pay you 50000 on a weekend. Just spend time with me. Show me how to put a syndication together, how to launch into the big game, how to do that. I say, I don't have time. I'm not interested in that. I don't do these one-on-one -on -one things, mentorship and stuff. I used to do events in uh, Puerto Rico where people would pay 25000 to come in and spend three days and so, and I just showed them what I've done. Now I changed the program to a completely different level where people can partner up instead of just watch and try to, to copy. I'll show you how we can go together into the actual game itself that is approved by the SEC to make millions. So I look forward to seeing you on January 22nd, that's Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I want you to know, the minute we announced that we're going to do the Manhattan, New York event, we had quite a few people that signed up. We had people that have taken old programs before that are coming in. 
We have investors that are in mix of that are already coming in. So don't delay because I don't like to have more than 50 people in the room. Why? Because it's a lot of interaction. And if I have more than 50 in the room, there's no more interaction. It becomes very impersonal. I don't want to grow uh, horizontally by having thousands of people vertically. I want to know the people, work with them, and be able to grow with them. So your opportunity today to do this is based on you getting the discount and you are, uh, you're able to get uh, the um, discount to 149.55. Get a partner with you. Call the office 407-608-5448. Again, 407-608-5448. And, um, you know, we've had so many people that were able to launch on their own. He did, Stephen, for example, Stephen Yu came into an event, spoke to the entire audience, said that he was with me, he took the training, came under me in the fund, and then launched his own fund. Stephen has been a huge success. This is my wife right here, my daughter, Erica, my son, Max. Just was great that uh, they came to join me at the end of day one when we did, did the cocktail party uh, with all the students. And it was really nice to see students that not only join me in the first level, but are able to launch and grow on their own. So call 407-408-5448. Let's make it happen. And I look forward to seeing you in New York. And let's really make it big. Let's make 2016 a winner year. Thank you all, and see you soon. Take care.